Hello luxury watch lovers! In this channel, I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the Richard Mill RM7001 watch. Richard Mill has a long history of selling high-end timepieces. With the unveiling of the RM027 Tour Bion for Rafael Nadal in 2010, the company made history on the internet. That watch cost a cool half a million dollars. At the time, many people dismissed it as nothing more than a publicity stunt. But they were completely wrong. It laid the groundwork for the brand's ongoing collaborations with a slew of high-profile athletes and celebrities. Sprinter Johan Blake, pro golfer Bubba Watson, and Formula One driver Philippe Massa are among them. Of course, it wasn't always like this. The founder of this brand has humble beginnings. In 1974, he started working at the Angueno Watch Factory. He was in charge of the watch distribution in Latin America at the time. Angueno was sold to Matra, an aircraft and automobile manufacturer, seven years later. Mill would take over as the head of Matra's watchmaking division. Matra's watch division was later sold to Seiko. But Mill walked away from the company. He started a new watchmaking company with Elaine Morbusa, a Parisian jeweler. They collaborated with another industry titan, Julio Papi, to create high complication watches. Richard Mill left Morbusa in 1999. He had his vision for an avant-garde watch company influenced by the world of motorsports. He wanted his timepieces to be light, distinctively shaped, and unlike anything else on the market. And he knew exactly who he needed to help him realize this dream. Julio Papi is a character in the film Julio Papi. Richard Mill's first watch, the RM001 Tourbillon, was released in 2001. The rest, as they say, is history. For the design of the movement, Richard Mill drew inspiration from bicycle pedals, as you can see. The movement not only tells time, but it also has a power reserve indicator near the tourbillon. And technically, the mechanical odometer is its system. But let's fast forward to the present. Richard Mill continues to create avant-garde timepieces, which continues to shock watch lovers. The Elaine Prost RM7001 Tourbillon is a perfect example of this. It is a celebrity timepiece that is inspired by a particular sport, in this case, cycling. Richard Mill is certain to have other plans for this totalizer complication. What if something far more mundane occurs and those who possess one of these rare luxuries enjoy the unique experience of this exotic fidget spinner, which allows you to count as high as pretty much anyone can in one sitting, and then resets the total to zero? It's about as cathartic as wasting time on a pointless smartphone game. The Totalizer isn't the most exciting innovation in the world of watches, but Richard Mill emphasizes the benefits, claiming that the rollers align very precisely, that the system is designed to prevent accidental manipulations, and that there is a lock to ensure overall stability. To put it another way, Richard Mill wants you to know that for all those tactile mechanical button fetishists, pressing in digit after digit via the case button is going to feel incredible. A Tour Beyond is a must-have for any Richard Mill sports watch, and the RM70 does not disappoint. The majority of the movement architecture is made of titanium, which has a strong visual appeal. This watch, after all, was supposed to be the prestigious super high-end lifestyle sports watchmaker's first foray into the world of cycling. 
which, mind you, is only modestly tapped by the luxury watch industry today, so it had to be as on theme as possible. It's also worth noting that the RM7001 is exclusively a lefty watch, which means it's meant to be worn on the right wrist. This is due to the shape of the crown, which prevents it from poking into your hand. This is especially problematic given a cyclist's arm and hand position, where a painful crown could be a problem without a design like this. It will be interesting to see how many people like this watch and how many people wear watches on their right wrist versus their left wrist. So let's take a look at some of the design features. This Richard Mill has a case size of 49.48 millimeters and has a sapphire case back with a torque limiting crown. We're looking at a lug to lug of 54.88 millimeters and a lug width of 17.65 millimeters. The manually wound 3 Hz Tourbillon Escapement Caliber RM0701 movement has a power reserve of 70 hours and displays only the time. And this is thanks to its variable inertia, free sprung balance and barrel pull with progressive recoil. It has a skeleton dial showing the hours and minutes, as well as the seconds shown on the Tourbillon mechanical odometer. Its power reserve indicator is visible at 5 o'clock. You can expect a water resistance of up to 50 meters. And please take a seat for this one because the price might blow you away at about $815,500. Here are four things to consider before buying the Richard Mill RM7001. Starting with number one, its unique design. The RM7001 Tour Bior Elaine Prost's unique aesthetic is the first thing that strikes you about it. It's designed to ensure fabulous comfort on the wrist and optimize dial legibility, according to Richard Mill. As a result, the case has a warped to no shape and bulges out to the one side. It's meant to be worn on the right wrist and sits quite high on the wrist. So when you bend your wrists to grip the handlebars on your bike, the crown of your head will dig into your arm a little bit. There are two main sections to the skeletonized dial. The mechanical odometer is housed in the upper half and the tourbillon is located in the lower half of the clock. The central display shows the hours and minutes. A power reserve in the shape of a gauge powered by a planetary differential is located at 5 o'clock. The dial is simple and refined, despite the outrageous case design, at least by Richard Mill's standards. On to number 2, the high-tech materials. Richard Mill has made a name for itself by using cutting-edge materials. The automotive and aerospace industries are frequently used as inspiration. Carbon fiber has been used in watchmaking for the first time by the company, and the Elaine Prost RM7001 Tourbillon is no exception. Carbon TPT is used to create the distinctive tonneau-shaped tripartite case and Richard Mill's watch cases are frequently made of this material. Hundreds of sheets of carbon fiber are layered in this technique. It's an automated process that switches the weft's orientation between layers. The material is heated to 120 degrees Celsius in an autoclave similar to those used for aerospace components before being machined at Richard Mill. Random patterns emerge in the carbon layers as a result of this process, and as a result, no two cases are identical. The result is a tonneau-shaped case that is both rectangular and asymmetrical while being extremely light and strong. Carbon TPT, according to Richard Mill, is indestructible. This allows for a lighter case while still providing ideal shock protection for the delicate movement inside. Two nitrile O-ring seals keep the case watertight for up to 50 meters. 
20 titanium spline screws, and 316L stainless steel abrasion resistant washers are used in the assembly. Moving along to number three, the complicated movement. A complex movement resides inside the RM7001 Tourbillon Elaine Prost. A tourbillon, a signature of Richard Mill, is included in the manually wound caliber. There's also an unusual complication in it, a mechanical odometer. It can tally distances massive kilometers and is inspired by speedometer equipped shift levers. Keep in mind that this timepiece was created for the world's most wealthy cyclists. And for these cyclists, it's crucial to keep track of how far you've traveled. The two grade 5 titanium pushers located at 2 and 10 o'clock are used to manually update the count. The first pusher selects the replacement roller or places the complication in neutral. The odometer's markers serve as a visual confirmation of the choice. The selected roller is incrementally rotated by activating the second pusher. This can be done automatically as well. All you'll need is a smartwatch with GPS tracking. The mechanical odometer takes up a significant portion of the movement space, and as a result, the caliber needed to be as small as possible. Richard Mill devised the brilliant idea of aligning the barrel and tourbillon on the same axis. When looking at the movement through the sapphire case back, you can't see the back of the tourbillon. The use of high-tech materials isn't restricted to the case. The movement's base plate and bridges are made of grade 5 titanium. The alloy is made up of 90% grade 5 titanium, 6% aluminium, and 4% vanadium. And the aerospace, aeronautics, and automobile industries all use it. The micro-blasted bridges are reminiscent of a bike frame and the base plate is black PVD treated. A variety of finishing techniques are also used in the movement. Hand language and polishing, satin finished bridges, burnished pivots, concave chamfering on the wheels with a diamond tool, and more are among them. The result is a sporty yet technical design that has been meticulously executed. And last, but certainly not least, is number four, the reputation and marketing hype. It's difficult to overestimate how much a product's reputation adds to its value. Richard Mill commands a high price simply because he is Richard Mill. By the way, this isn't a criticism, it's a factual statement. The man and the company have made a name for themselves by producing obscenely expensive avant-garde timepieces. And Richard Mill is the only one who does what he does. No one else is doing it as well as he is. And then there's the element of exclusivity. Even if you have the financial means to purchase one, the RM7001 Tourbillon Elaine Prost is limited to only 30 pieces. That means you can't count on getting one. For some, this only adds to the model's attractiveness, and there are many people eager to get their hands on it. It's undeniably a difficult business model to balance, but Richard Mill has done an outstanding job. Even if everyone else thinks it's crazy, staying true to the brand ethos is crucial. And this wraps up my review of the Richard Mill RM7001. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Nothing helps my channel more than you watching until the very end. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments below what other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.